Hello, everybody. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the relationship between objective sleep quality and recovery in children uh, following a concussion. Um, so we know that sleep impairment happens and is very frequent after concussion, especially in children. Um, and we know that sleep has a very important role just in our daily lives uh, and especially in the vulnerable brain. Uh, in terms of concussion, you can have things like exacerbated symptoms, you can have worse cognitive outcomes, um, and you can have worse things in your behavioral, uh, behavioral responses after a concussion if you have poor sleep quality. But there's been some more evidence suggesting that sleep quality is important in predicting the length of recovery uh, and has some sort of role in the recovery of it, but there's not a ton of literature on it and it needs to be explored further. Um, so the hypothesis here is that sleep quality has an active role in the recovery process. We just want to figure out what it is and how that relates to the length of recovery and uh, the probability of recovering. So we took a sample from a three-year perspective cohort of uh, kids aged 5 to 18. Uh, and then the sample that I did my analysis on was there's 59 uh, children, 29 female, and 30 male. And they basically went through a stepwise, symptoms-based re return to play protocol, and that's how we assess the recovery within them. Uh, we tracked their sleep quality using actigraph measures, which is just basic accelerometry that they would wear during the night on their wrist, and that would be able to provide us with an indication of uh, different sleep quality measures. Uh, for the purpose of this presentation, I'm using sleep efficiency to estimate uh, sleep quality, although there are other measures, and we looked at those. Um, this, this presentation is just focusing specifically on sleep efficiency. Uh, we looked at their sleep efficiency of two weeks after their concussive injury, and we're using this to relate this to their uh, reco uh, recovery outcomes, and we wanted to see if there was any uh, demographic or injury-related features that predicted uh, sleep efficiency after concussion. Um, so in the first graph, we found that there was no real difference in the sleep efficiency between um, any of the groups divided by age and sex, but we did see a difference in the recovery patterns um, across one month in their sleep efficiency. So uh, a lot of these groups started off a lot lower, or in the younger groups started off a lot lower, but it seemed to improve, whereas in the older groups, they either remained the same or kind of decreased. Uh, the other thing to note that if we take sleep efficiency and we take the normal value, the approximated normal value of sleep efficiency is about 85%, and everybody within this group was below 85%, and even across one month post-concussion uh, during the recovery, nobody really got to that 85% marker. Um, and then so if we look at sleep efficiency and then how it relates to the recovery process, we tried to see if... Um, their acute sleep efficiency, so that two weeks after, recover, uh, after concussion related to their time to recovery at all, um, and we were not able to find anything in there that would indicate that the sleep efficiency related to their outcomes. Um, so this didn't include the sensor data of those people who didn't recover, so then we did a survival analysis to try to determine if um, that was a, a playing in a factor, having these sensor data in there. But again, we did not find that sleep efficiency predicted the time to recovery or the likelihood of recovery after. But if we look at the consensus statement that says a lot of kids are recovering within a month post, uh, post their injury, uh, all of these uh, groups here were recovering at about 47 to 50 days. So we're looking at a sample of participants that is taking a lot longer to recover than what would normally be expected, and that might be taken in as a factor. Um, but what we can take away from this is the fact that sleep efficiency is hard to predict post-concussion and that the recovery length, especially in considering sleep quality, was also hard to predict. And more research needs to be done, perhaps using sleep, uh, sleep efficiency and sleep quality as a changing variable and re then relate that to the recovery outcomes.